everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I did these five spooky nail designs using nail charms and stickers and just very minimal hand painted, painted art so I'm really excited and let's jump right into it this was my favorite nail that I did and yeah so basically this has this is like a special um video because I have this little mystery charm pack my niece made this for me and she kind of just went in my drawers and picked out a bunch of charms I have no idea what they are and she told me that I have to make a nail set with these charms and I have to make it Halloween edition so I was honestly really worried when I opened it up when I saw all these pastel colors and like a whole bunch of random things she is a kid so uh, she picked like random stuff but um I'm gonna be trying to make the best out of it and I'm gonna show you guys how to utilize what you have to make some really cute nail designs and I can do more videos like this if you guys want me to but I know that it, it could be kind of pricey to add up like when you add up all the charms and everything that you need to buy everything that's trendy but you can make trendy nail designs with the stuff that you have on hand so I'm starting off with the first nail this is one of my favorite nails I did and I'm just going in with a nude base color and then some white gel polish um, everything I'm using will either be in my Amazon storefront and in the description box down below and um, the nude colors from Amazon and the uh, white gel is also from Amazon and I'm just going to be creating a French tip with that um, and I'm sorry if I sound different today I am sick unfortunately I feel like I always get sick like twice a year but I am sick and I just decided to still do the voiceover because my voice isn't that bad so I was just like I could still do it so yeah I'm going in with my French tip and I am just doing that and I do cure in between each layer in case you guys are beginners um, I do one layer of the of the nude color, then cure, then another layer, then cure, and then now I'm doing a layer of the white for the French. And I do like to do my French with the little brush um, instead of like filling it in. And I wanted my nude to be a little more pinky, so I added one layer of this uh, ballet color from Eye Gel Beauty right on top, and this just made it look a little bit more pink. And um, yeah, this was kind of random. This really doesn't have anything to do with the set, but. You guys know I like to layer my colors and this is like the perfect color for my uh, skin tone I feel like because it's like not so peach not so pink I, I never understood what my undertone was so I don't really know what nude colors go well with me but I like pretty much anything um, but here I am now I'm grabbing some black gel polish with the same brush I used for my French you want to use a long liner brush and then I'm going in and creating the spiderweb French um, you're gonna go in with a uh, what is that five black lines and I think I end up doing six or seven but um, now you're gonna go in around the smile line as well and outline that and yeah here's the other two lines that I decided to add um, so that's seven lines in total and then we're gonna be doing the spiderweb design and you do want to switch to a smaller brush when you're doing these little tiny spiderweb strokes because you have more control and it's way easier for you to get a perfect little half circle or whatever it's called um, when you're doing these little lines because with the long brush it just makes it so much harder so um, yeah and the black liner gel that I'm using is the baddest black liner gel from nails by dev and um, yeah so I'm just grabbing that and I'm just going all the way down creating a classic spiderweb design and then right after that once it's cured I'm going to look at my charm container that I have here and I'm gonna see what I could possibly use for this nail set I honestly had to look through it for a minute and then I decided I definitely needed to go in with this really cute black bow thankfully there was a black bow in this charm pack but you can see here I was kind of trying to see what I could do um, so I liked the bow idea and I decided to go in with that so I'm grabbing some McCart rhinestone gel and I'm just applying a generous amount and then I'm going to put the bow on um, and another thing I forgot to mention is that um, whenever you're using bow charms you definitely uh, want to go in and etch the back of the charm because the bow charms are super shiny on the back side. So going in and etching it with a file just makes it have a little grit um, so that it could stick better to your rhinestone gel. And then I decided to be a little extra so I added some glitter onto the spider webs, spider web parts like the little lines just to make it a little more sparkle since this is like a little more of a, a cutie design like cute design because of the bow. So I did that. That was kind of unnecessary, but I still loved it because I love sparkle. You guys know this. So that's what I did for that nail. And then once the bow is on, you can go ahead and top coat. Another thing I like to do is grab the McCart rhinestone gel and go over those little tiny parts that are lifted up, up from the bow. Uh, seal those in so that way your client or customer's hair does not get stuck underneath. 
And now I'm going on to the next nail. I'm doing the thumb this time. And I'm grabbing this really beautiful sparkly black gel polish from Nails by Dev. Um, I don't remember which collection I got this from, but I will put it in the description. I think it's from her uh, Christmas collection or Halloween collection from last year. And um, it is just like a really beautiful reflective black. So I did decide to add two layers of this. And I did cure it in between, of course. So I cured in between and then I'm adding the second layer and it's just so pretty and sparkly. It reminds me of a nighttime sky, like a galaxy type of vibe. So I knew for sure which charms I wanted to use for this nail. Um, once that was all cured, I decided to go in with my McCart rhinestone gel again. When you're using big charms with this gel, you want to go in with a very generous amount. And I decided to go in with these really trendy charms. These are the star pearl charms and the a little moon charm as well. So I decided to add the star on the bottom and then the moon on the top, but I needed to leave a little room because I wanted to add a, a few hand painted art elements, just a few of them, um, so that I can add more to the nail. But here I am kind of adjusting to where I wanted to go, and thankfully I had these charms in the little charm mix because it went perfectly for like a spooky nighttime vibe. And here I am grabbing my long liner brush again. Um, having a very versatile long liner brush like this is key. You guys see me use this brush for literally everything. Um, all you need to have perfect like art honestly is practice and then a long liner brush and a small liner brush that you could switch on and off with. So that is very very helpful. Um, and yeah here I am just kind of going in and creating some stars. Uh, I do the stars the old fashioned way like when you were a kid you just draw a star except I try to do it a little more careful. So that way I'm able to go back and fill it in with the white gel again. And then I also did some of these stars, which are just like the little, I don't know what those are called, twinkle stars. But yeah, so now I went ahead with that and then I added a few dots just to make it look like, um, oh yeah, I'm adding more stars and a few dots. And then after that, I am curing everything. And if you have trouble like messing up your designs easily, then cure in between each star with a little flash cure lamp. That'll help you a lot. And then here I am top coating the whole entire nail. You also want to top coat on top of your charms because they could lose their paint overlay, like the, the shine and the paint on top. If your customer or client is using cleaning kind of chemicals or uses their hands a lot, washes dishes a lot. Um, so you want to top coat over it for them just so it has extra security. And then here I am now going in with the middle nail. Honestly, I had no idea what to do with this nail. Um, because I didn't know what direction to go in, but I did, did have these black butterfly stickers. These are butterflies or moths, and I love stickers, honestly. I've been telling you guys about this for the last, like, I think a few videos back. But I love stickers. You could do so much with them, honestly. So I'm really excited to show you guys more tutorials with stickers. Just to give you guys a little help with, in case you need a really quick nail design, or if you want to create something cute, but you don't want to take so much time on it. Um, there's definitely so much you can do with this. I was honestly going to do an all black butterfly French as well. So that's another idea if you guys have butterfly stickers. Um, and then another way to make butterflies look super cool is put these like black butterflies underneath like a red jelly polish. And it'll look like the butterflies are like encapsulated in like a red liquid which is very spooky vibes. And I love that as well. I was also going to do that. But I was trying to kind of stick with the black and white theme for this nail set. So that's why you see me using a lot of black and white. But here I am. I added these little flower charms that were in the mix. And I wanted to spookify them. So I did paint them with some black gel polish. So if you have these trendy flowers that everybody has, you could definitely create a set with them. And um, just color them whatever color you want to make if you don't already have the color that you need. I've done that multiple times and it works great. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I cure after that. And I did add some white dots in the center. And then now we are starting on the pointer finger. So for the pointer finger, I'm just going in with some white gel polish. And I knew for sure that I wanted to make this one a little spookier. But I'm using this pink, very summer nail charm. It is one of the charms that are very big. And like I feel like a lot of people have these because they come in like mixes sometimes. Um, from like AliExpress or Shein or something. So I did go ahead and use this charm. And I am painting it all black. So when you're going to do this for somebody, like you're going to do it for a customer or a client, if you're going to paint a charm like this, like a big one, you want to go in with a file and just lightly buff it or a buffer and just lightly buff over the whole charm or the part that you're going to be painting. Like I said, just to give a little extra grit so that your paint has something to stick to. Because the charm is shiny and it already has a seal on top of it, 
you want to make sure that you have some grit for your polish you're applying on top. And I also added a little bit of a dark color onto the um, actual leaves just to make it look not so bright and like saturated. And then I'm going in with some red gel polish and I am just doing these blood drips, fake blood of course. Um, I'm grabbing the um, gel, this gel polish from D&D. It is so perfect for this. Like I feel like the color looks perfect so I decided to go in with this. And I am just kind of going over the entire charm and creating like a very spooky kind of cute vibe at the same time. I don't know but I love this type of aesthetic where you add like cute things and then like make it spooky. So I went ahead and added the little drips and just making this overall very creepy with making the cherry black and then adding the drips. And um, the way you're going to add drips is you want to have your brush very very loaded with gel. Like, have your brush fully, fully, fully covered in gel, like, um, to where it's almost dripping off. And then you want to let it kind of drip down on its own. And that is the way you're going to make it look so perfect without even needing to try too much. And um, you want to make sure that when you're using this much gel, like, really gl thick globs of it, that you want to cure it double. And make sure that the lamp doesn't turn off on you if you have a censored lamp like I do. Uh, because... If it turns on for a quick second then turns off, if you're using very thick layers of gel, it will wrinkle in your lamp. So make sure that you think about that. And then once the, the, the drips were exactly how I wanted, I go ahead, I went ahead and top coated. And you guys might have seen me using this pink bottle top coat recently. Um, it's not a fancy top coat. Honestly, I don't even like it. I just bought it from my local nail supply. She was selling them for like $3, so I got one. And um, I'm just using it up, honestly, because I have it. But my favorite is still the Beatles top coat or the Nails by Dev top coat. And yeah, here I am just grabbing a thick, deep 3D gel. And because 3D is so trendy, I decided to make the drips 3D. So I did add the 3D on top. And now we're moving kind of faster. I'm moving on to the next nail. This is the last nail. I painted it white and I had these Corpse Bride stickers. I did get these from AliExpress. So they are very affordable. And if I could find them again, I got them a long time ago, but if I could find them again, I'm going to link it for you guys. Um, and I just decided to grab the biggest Corpse Bride sticker I had. And then I'm adding on these black roses that came with it, came with it and some butterflies as well. There's these really pretty blue butterflies that I love and I feel like it goes so well with this. So I had these as well and I'm just adding more butterflies. Imagine this on an extra long nail set, like the same length I'm doing. But imagine it full of crystals and so beautiful like I did a set kind of like that already but I painted the Corpse Bride. Imagine using the stickers and like you don't even have to paint it and it will still come out so beautiful. So yeah you guys that's it for this nail set. This is how all the nails turned out. I hope I gave you guys some ideas on how you can use your charms and stickers that you have on hand and spookify it and make it the best you could. Even for the bow charm you could paint a charm black if you have to. You don't have to use a black charm already and here I am wearing them they turned out so freaking cute honestly somehow they don't go together but like somehow I feel like they kind of do like I don't know how to explain it but like I feel like it doesn't look bad if this was a nail set but I like to wear it to show you guys what it looks like on and um even though this isn't a set I showed you guys individual designs but yeah I hope you guys got inspired by this video and um yeah I'm really excited for the next one so stay tuned and I'll see you guys then bye